Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Calvin's Kitchen. Today we're making the famous birria quesa tacos. For this recipe, we are using two pounds of chuck roast, two pounds of short ribs, and two pounds of oxtail. Use paper towels to dry most of the moisture. Then season with plenty of kosher salt on all sides. Now, in a large pot over medium high heat, add in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Sear the meat in batches about two to three minutes until all the sides are brown. Birria is a Mexican dish from the state of Jalisco. The dish is a meat stew traditionally made from goat meat, but occasionally made from beef. And remember to do this in batches as to not overcrowd the pot. After the beef has been seared and all the sides are brown, set it aside. Then in the same pot, add in one large onion cut into chunks. We don't need to dice it as the whole thing is going to end up in a blender. Sauté the onion until it becomes translucent. Then add in 8 tomatoes cut into chunks as well. Followed by 12 cloves of garlic, 8 white chili and 5 guajillo chili. Before adding the chilies to the pot, ensure that you remove all the seeds and cut them in half. Just like so. Season with 1 teaspoon of Mexican oregano, 1 teaspoon of dry thyme, 1 teaspoon of cumin, 1 eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, 1 tablespoon of whole black peppercorn, 1 cinnamon stick, 3 bay leaves, and kosher salt to taste. Now, sweat the vegetables and the spices for about 5 minutes. We want to kind of wake them up. Wakey wakey! Then add in 4 cups of beef stock. Bring that to a boil and let it cook for about 10 minutes. After you add double has cooked for about 10 minutes, transfer into a blender. Now blend the whole thing in batches until you get a smooth consistency. After you add double sauce has been blended nice and smooth, transfer it back into the pot. Then bring the beef back into the adobo sauce. Add in 4 additional cups of beef stock. Set the heat to medium high and bring to a boil. Once it begins to boil, reduce the heat to medium low and continue cooking for about 3 hours until fork tender. And for the tacos, we're using Oaxaca cheese. And the best way to cut up the cheese is to shred it by hand, just like so. And after braising the beef for 3 hours, it should be fork tender. Now remove the beef from the pot. For a clear broth, you want to run the consomme through a strainer. You'll end up with this leftover residue that you can just discard and throw in the trash. Now separate the bones from the meat and using two forks, go ahead and shred it. Then set a skillet over medium heat. Skim about two tablespoons of the grease from the consomme and add to the skillet. Now dip in your corn tortilla into the consomme and add to the skillet. Heat up the corn tortilla until you see them bubbling up. Then flip them over. Add in some of the Oaxaca cheese and allow for the cheese to melt. Once the cheese has melted, top it off with the beef.
fold the taco over, cooking for one to two minutes. Then flip them over and cook for another one to two minutes. By doing so, you end up with crispy tacos. You may garnish with diced onion and fresh cilantro. Pour some of the canned sumé into a small serving bowl. Then squeeze the juice of one fresh lime. Top it up with diced onion and fresh cilantro. And now you are ready to enjoy your birria quesa tacos. There you guys have it, birria quesa tacos. Enjoy, buen provecho, and thanks for watching. Bye.